today's R&B and old school. You may at least even on the afternoon throwdown. It is another edition of Grand City Sports Radio. You know what we want to do is we just want to reach out, celebrate the youth of doing accomplishments, not only academically, but on the field of play, on the court of play, whatever the case may be, whatever ball they mess with, taking care of business and stuff like that on both ends of stuff. We want to celebrate them. Grand City Sports Radio Prince, the same. Your boy, Lee Stevens. Drafer. What's up, man? What's up? How you feel? Great. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let me tell you, if you ain't never seen Drafer Cribs in the building doing his thing, running back extraordinaire, I'm going to put that out there. You gotta, you gotta, sometimes you got to put these things in the atmosphere. Let us do that, though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got to make sure that we celebrate and let everybody know because there's some young people here really doing a great job, not only in the classroom, but also on the field of play and everything. Drayford, tell everybody which school you represent. East Kenwood. Oh, boy. The birds are in the building, baby. The birds are in the building and everything like that. So you are in what year? 2021. 2021. All right. So that's your sophomore? Yes, sir. All right. Went to my junior year. So you just made the move to the varsity. Yes, sir. Yeah. How's that feel? Great. Yeah. Ready to make some noise? Yes, sir. Yeah. So are you, uh, are you, is there a depth chart at your position right now? Yes, sir. Okay. But you guys just kind of equally get in there and everything. Yeah, well, he got some, we got two running backs right now that he knows for sure they're going to get, like, battles to start. So that means you're just going, you're going to go in not only in practice, but you're in special teams and stuff. You're going to find your way to the start and start a lineup or eventually and everything like that. Yes, That's good, you, but you then you got to be ready if there's an injury. We ain't saying there's going to be an injury, but so you got to be ready for an injury any time like that. So, okay, so what led you to to football as a young kid? How, where was your inspiration? Where did it come from? Uh, my dad. Yeah. Yeah. He um well he asked me to play before and I was like no nah, I'm scared. Mm-hmm. And he was like he took me to a practice where he was coaching and I seen the kids playing. I'm like I think I can do this. He was like if you do it, he said anytime you score, I give you. Ten dollars or something. So I was like, "Why not do it?" Yeah. Are you so you rich now? <laughs> no, sir. I yo, spent it. Yo, so, oh, okay. I, was, I, was, I thought maybe you're a multi dollarnaire or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Draper Cribs in the building and representing that EKH in the building and stuff. All right. Before we um, head to the break and everything, I I, I hear that you are a, a connoisseur of the weight room. You get it in there. So what what do you bench now? Two forty. Two forty. Look at that. 240. I can't even bench my own self up off the ground sometimes and everything, but nah, that's just a symptom of being old, my friend. Don't even let don't let that happen to you, okay? You man came in here real large and charged. He was like, you about as tall as that door right there, bro. So I'm excited when it's going to happen. We're going to talk more with you coming up at 350. I'm going to dig deep into where he wants to see his career, what he's doing right now to prepare for a great career, not only uh, on the play, uh, on the field of play, but in the classroom. Magic 104.9. Today's R&B and old school.